Okay guys, uh, so today we're going to be looking at the different cooling methods that you can use on your vehicles. And this is just going to be looking at using a using no cooling, a radiator, heat sink, and a water reserve. If you don't know what water reserve is, it's built-in water tank, two ends, one in, one out. It's the same as open water cooling. We tested it small, medium, and large engines. All at 20 RPS, full throttle, same components, same fuel, same weather conditions. And we recorded maximum temperature and yeah, so I put it into this video so I could show you guys how to cool your engines best. Awesome, so let's get into it. Okay, first we have our uh, no cooling. So with no cooling, unfortunately, small, medium, large engines, they all blow up. They just blow up, they completely explode. Small and medium engines got to 468.58 degrees. Large engine, 466.73. Don't do it. Your engines won't last at all. You might be able to do it if you run your engine at like three or four RPS, maybe, but just always use a cooling system because otherwise your engine will explode. You know, these engines took about 20, 30 seconds to get up to a temperature where they exploded, which was not a lot of time. So don't do that. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at our radiator and our heatsink, and we're going to be comparing those. So for the radiator, small engine, we got 110.9 degrees maximum. Medium, 111.44, large, 111.2. With our heatsink on our small engine, we got 109.58. Medium 110.11, large 110.1. So, in terms of radiator versus heatsink, practically speaking, if you can afford a heatsink and can get the space, use a heatsink. But considering the difference in the amount of cooling it does, if you're going to have issues putting in a heatsink, just use a radiator. Because a radiator at the end of the day is 99% effective compared to the heatsink. So, if you're struggling to fit a heatsink, use a radiator. Alright, so now we're going to be talking about using a water reserve. And for the test, um, I just used the smallest physical water reserve that you can use. Because practically speaking, yes, you could use large sets of pumps and everything in a ship. But if you wanted to use this in a car, I wanted to test it for that condition as well. And so the water reserve got 40.01 degrees max on the small engine, the medium engine 39.21, and on the large engine 38.79. So considering the other temperatures, it's, a, it's ranging around less than two fifths of the heat sink and the radiator less than two fifths so that's really really good considering that it's practically speaking it's the same size and can fit in the same area and technically can be slapped directly to your engine without the need for piping so that's the water reserve all right so now talking about what to use so obviously you need cooling we see that with the stats from the no cooling test it just doesn't go well your engine blows up use a water reserve if you can on everything and I mean everything because no matter what engine you use it is going to be a thousand times cooler at the same RPS which means that you can run your engines better and the risk of them exploding is much lower so that is good that is really good especially when because the weather systems affect engine temperatures on hot days the radiator and the heatsink might not cool it enough the water reserve will definitely cool it enough so by all means if you want to use a radiator or a heatsink use use them but if you can use a water reserve use a water reserve because that is the best thing that you can use yes it's heavier it's much heavier it's probably two or three times the weight but it's a thousand times better so yeah anyway thank you guys uh thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video bye